thing that we've been fighting for for a long time. Nurses and midwives and many other healthcare workers have been suffering. Um, you know, the, the short staff, racial problems, education problems, um, especially, you know, salaries. Um, the salary is not is, is okay, but nurses are working under extreme conditions so since COVID. The situation has became a lot worse, uh, and it put in evidence, you know, the failures of the system. What do you think about the Dominic um, Fisher saying, uh, "Thank you very much. You're really appreciated." That's not good enough. Saying so thank you very much is not good enough. We need action. We need more nurses. We need better ratios. We need some uh, extra money for the nurses that are working 12, 14, 18 hours. Some of them 24 hours, especially in the aged care sector. So we need action, not words. He doesn't mean it. He's a hypocrite. I've heard uh, a lot of young nurses are deciding to get out of the profession altogether. What do you say about that? Well, because it's hard. Nursing is, is, is not an easy profession, and it's not just nursing, but midwifery as well. Uh, I teach nurses and midwives. And I just I usually try to make sure that I tell them the reality of the job. It is it's, it's, it's not multiple faces, it's not multiple things. It is the human part, the physical part, the professional knowledge part. It's a lot of things, the responsibility. Uh, so yes, it is a hard profession and I can see how many young nurses may find something easy. Something they can do Monday to Friday, you know, eight to four or five, and that's it. They don't have to work weekends. You know, after hours, they don't have to do night shift, they don't have to deal with human suffering. But if the ratios were better and the pay was better, would they be staying in because they love their job? I believe so. They, they did nursing, they studied nursing for three years, some for four years, to actually become professionals and for something that they love. And yes, if the conditions were better, the ratios were better, salary was better, yes, definitely. I believe that nurses will stay and midwives will stay and other healthcare workers as well. And how long is it since the nurses in New South Wales have taken strike action like this? Whoa, very, very long time. It is very hard for nurses to protest because we care about our patients and it's always the criticism comes, you will abandoning the patients. Today, this strike comes as an extreme action of something that's been happening for a very long time and it needed to happen eventually it was it was white it's a bomb waiting to explode and i think this is this is showing it look at the people here there's so many people around here so yes it is something that's coming and there's a skeletal nurses working at the moment keeping the patients alive keeping the patients safe and this is some of the conditions have been working the nurses have been working anywhere even without protest because of the of the covid situation so and well, uh, you are running for the socialist alliance in the senate yes i am in the federal election yes. what do you hope to achieve by running well hopefully get a seat you know and hopefully get my word and the word of the socialist alliance and the stand that we have in the socialist alliance to parliament and to try to improve conditions for nurses you know free education free health the improvement of the health care system which is i'm very passionate about and you know the, the environment there's so many other issues that i'm very passionate about and i, I that's why i belong to the socialist alliance because they stand for the things that i believe Congratulations, thank you. Thank you very much.